So apologies first, this is not the ideal place to record, but uh, I got to do what I got to do. So very quick um, grifting, if you want to join the channel membership, they are, I think, fairly affordable. So please come join us and I will be doing some responses to Marilyn. And to be fair, she wasn't directly attacking me, but you could kind of tell she was referring to me. So let us get to the main thing that Maho, as she's been, um, I think, rightfully, sarcastically referred to is gone from the internet at least her youtube channel i can confirm at this point is goneth why is it goneth well there's a nice video by sptv foundation which is a parody of the sptv foundation and the video did a good job breaking down the controversy i will just summarize very quickly essentially marilyn did a video on a mod who apparently modded for many of these kinds of channels ellie and made some pretty strong accusations and this really hurt Ellie herself, and she was very disturbed by it. Now, I want to be careful because of YouTube and monetization. I can't get into all the details, but it, it looked really, really bad. And then, out of nowhere, some time later, Marilyn has chosen to get rid of her channel. Again, doesn't mean she's guilty, but one can conclude either she was not interested in continuing the controversy, or, as Liz Gale has explained on her channel, she's just taking a break. After bullying, harassing, and stalking many, many people, she's growing a little tired and needs to take a vacation. Now, to be fair to Liz Gale herself, I did not listen to the entirety of her presentation because, honestly, after a while, I could not listen to the lies she was telling. And I want to be brutal but fair that Liz has had some tragedies in Scientology, so I don't want to downplay those things. However, Having seen her content for a little while, and again, I used to be a fan, used to like her. Her videos tended to be short, uh, fairly basic, but, you know, they did their job. I can't help but remark, because this is a fact, she's a very, very beautiful woman. So she does just do this job of turning on the charm and try to sucker you in. And so, of course, she does her doe eyes again and says, I understand, guys. Where's all this hate coming from? Not to get too paranoid, but where's it coming from? I don't understand it. Liz. Liz, it's been documented on Reddit and elsewhere. I've done some viral videos on this myself. Marilyn has actively attacked people. Now, the cover story is she loves the children. She's protecting Senkin Gemos and blah, blah, blah. She has actively bullied a lot of people. Now, Liz asked this rhetorical question. Okay, there's bullying? But, like, if you get bully back at the bully? Really? What is that? That is not the same thing. If you've been bullied and stand up to defend yourself, that is not the same as bullying someone. Now, you could go too far in response. That is true. But defending yourself from a bully does not make you a bully. You're just defending yourself. So this is just crazy talk from Liz trying to rewrite furiously the record where Alan was just, yeah, she was bullying people, but really, who's, who cares? It's okay. No, it's not okay. And we can document a lot of this was a bunch of lies. So we should be okay with Marilyn bullying and lying about people because she just loves Liz Gale. She loves Nora. She loves the second gems. But see, even that's not true. That's false. And again, I don't want to get into her business, but Liz Ferris is very sick at the moment. So she's recovering and she's emphasized she doesn't want to have fights. But you can read between the lines. When she said there are a lot of false friends in the SPTV community, a lot of people, including me, concluded, oh, you mean Marilyn. Marilyn, right? It's Marilyn. And she didn't confirm it exactly, but you can tell, yes, it was Marilyn and other people. And they've been very careful not to comment on Liz's channel. They wish her well, but Liz is like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, basically ignoring them. And again, I have very few good things to say about DOA, but good or bad, he has actually been consistent and loyal to Liz, whereas Nora and Marilyn have not been. So as toxic and as awful as DOA is, at least there with Liz Ferris, he did the right thing and helping her out and being loyal to her. So at this point, it's just a huge goddamn mess. And I don't think Marilyn is really gone. I don't think anyone really thinks she is gone. But it is very curious she decided to get rid of all these videos, which I can only conclude, unfortunately, she was probably trying to hide the evidence. And I would assume the obvious. There probably are some devastating screenshots and little bits of audio. And she just does not want to face the music, which is keeping in with her character, where... She's very good at accusing other people and blaming them, but when she has to face her own accusations, she's basically a coward. So I don't have a lot of respect for her. 
I don't really sympathize with her plight because she did this herself. This really is from Revenge of the Sith in terms of her losing support because she was losing subscribers even before this. So some people are seeing through her honey bear, mama bear, whatever, the grift that she was pulling off. And again, to be fair, it's not necessarily for the money, but she seemed to really love being in the hierarchy, looking down and attacking people. And now some people are defending themselves and she's getting all kinds of upset. Well, I don't really care, frankly. Now, don't know if she's guilty regarding the LE controversy. We'll have to wait and see. But I have seen point blank. She just says things that are so insane and so incredible. And when asked to verify her statements, nope. Just moves on to the next set of accusations. So not sorry to see her gone, but I don't think she is gone. So this is just a little bit of an update of where we are with the uh, Madeleine and Honnick Wars. At least stage one has been reached. She is leaving the internets, at least for now, but I suspect she will make a grand return, like the supervillain that she is.